speech and then you can ask questions from the coaches, the two coaches that are on this session today. Please bear in mind that this session is being recorded. And so don't share personal details that you don't want to see um, online at the end of the day. Uh, yeah, how can I engage better with mentorship programs? Having a good online presence in the digital industry. So this is a two-tier question uh, today. This person is asking mentoring, how can they do that? And then also, how can I build a good online presence? Yeah, so I think uh, I, I would start with the second one. Building a good online presence, there's a couple of things you can do there, right? Um, probably one of the easiest ways to start is like have a very strong LinkedIn profile. Um, don't be one of those people that, you know, they don't have LinkedIn accounts, right? That's, that's very bad. Some people have LinkedIn accounts, but they don't have pictures there, right? Or it's not updated, right? So have a very strong LinkedIn account because that's something that you can do for free. Um, the other thing you can actually also do is you didn't mention the specific uh, field that you are in. Now, there are certain blogs, there are certain platforms that allow you to share your thoughts, right? Medium is actually one of them that you can do for free, right? Um, if you write Medium articles, now the, for the technician, uh, Global Talent Visa, one of the things they've said is you cannot use a medium article as an evidence. However, if it's all about communicating that you've shared your knowledge, right? If you are able to do that, you know, using a blog post or using an article, uh, you just need to find a, a platform. If it's medium you want to use, fine. If your, your career path has like an industry blog that a lot of people visit, you can actually volunteer you know, to share uh, an opinion piece with them and then write about a topic that you are passionate with. Now, the, the long and short of it is when they Google uh, Mohammed Yekini, something should come up about you, right? First is your LinkedIn. And then second is the fact that, oh, you're actually a professional in this industry, either because you've written an article or you've written a blog post or somebody has interviewed you. Right. Um, and I guess like you, you can also sort of flesh out what I've just said in, in, in that area. In terms of how can I engage better with mentorship programs? Again, the specifics of this will depend on what role you are in. Right. So if you are in sales, just go online and see if there's any mentorship programs for young people who are looking to get into sales or who are looking at who are even looking to get into digital technology as a whole. Right. So right now there's a long list of mentorship programs out there. Now, the thing is for the technician visa, it needs to be a structured mentorship program, right? So it cannot just be uh, somebody in your church that somebody just introduces you to say, oh, let me coach this person. And you say, no, that's your mentor. It can't be that because that's unstructured. And more importantly, you need to evidence the fact that the mentorship happened, right? So if, you know, you go online and you Google mentorship programs for, sales experts or for digital marketing experts, I'm very sure you would find something, right? And then on these programs, you can then sign up as a mentor. Now, also don't forget that these people will not just accept anybody as a mentor, right? So before you, you, you put yourself out there to become a mentor, you need to position yourself right. You need to have the right kind of experience. You also need to have some good online presence as well so that when some of your mentees Google you, they are like, okay, this person knows what he's talking about. And, you know, you need to, 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 to have a bio. If you don't have a bio, you know, have a, a really nice bio that speaks about your experience, speaks about what you've done. Um, so basically try to sign up to a couple of mentorship programs. Um, usually they are pro bono, right? So you need to be ready to give um, an hour, two hours of your time per week to some of these things. And then, you know, you then have some evidence that you can you can use further down the line whenever it is you are ready for, for your, your application. Yeah. And also don't sign up on the mentoring platform today and then ask for a, a recommendation letter tomorrow, right? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work that way. <laughs> exactly. That, that's a real life experience, by the way. So just, that's why I had to mention that. Yeah, uh, so now let's speak about products as um, product management and then products as a 